so today's vlog I'm going to be showing you how I'm gonna organize my car I got some things to help keep it organized and tidy the car can get a little bit hectic we got the car clean today someone came by and gave it a really really good wash as well as the car getting cleaned and organized I'm gonna go pick up the dogs from the groomers right now I take them to a spot for spot dog grooming they're amazing Amazing. They're so gentle with the dogs. They really take their time. If the dogs start to get anxiety, they back off, take the dog for a walk, like be really, really gentle with them. And yeah, and they just do such a. Oh, they're calling me right now. <laughs> I just check out a spa for spa. I got daycare and grooming to get some like little fresh little looks like these guys. Oh. All right, we got a soft spot everybody and we take our time with each and every one we get to know them and we kind of treat them like they're our own dog you peed on my new jeans wolf <laughs> do this with each other it's so cute <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the things that I got to help keep the car organized and clean okay so I got this travel mug from Superstore I love it it's made out of bamboo fiber it came with a plastic straw but I changed it to this glass straw and I got this diffuser I hate this logo on it so I have to get a sticker for it it works so well like you just put water in the bottom and then you put your drops of essential oil the essential oil diffusers that I've used in the past just have like this little pad that you stick into the diffuser and you put the drops on those and then you have to keep changing them ever so often so that's why I like this one because you just have to put water in the bottom I just love the way it diffuses the oils and it just makes the car smell super nice. Also, if you use those scented trees that hang over your rear view mirror, you need to get rid of them immediately. Those are extremely toxic and just plain disgusting. Definitely get an essential oil diffuser. I'm using this essential oil right now. It's the crisp and clean. This one is a limited edition and I called the Sage store to find out if it's pet friendly or not. Cause I, I know there's a lot of oils that are not safe for uh, dogs. So that's why I'm not really letting this go on for a very long. Cause I have the dogs in the car and I just want to be safe. I'm just waiting for them to call me back to let me know if it is or it isn't. And I really recommend that any oil that you want to use, if you do have animals, to just double check that they are safe. And unfortunately, they do not recommend using that blend. This is a silicone trash can. So just pops up in like that you throw your trash in there you can put it in your cup holder but i want to keep it just in the corner of the car in the middle compartment i'm keeping this little beauty bag this is going to just stay in the car so i have this elemis body cream this smells amazing it's a sea lavender and sapphire body cream i love this i've got these toothpicks the mint tree toothpicks i got these from whole foods i have this herbivore face mist this is the rose hibiscus it's a little glass bottle and it's mini so it's not super heavy and i tend to not wear makeup on most days so while i'm driving this is really nice to just spray on my face and just it feels really refreshing i got this lip balm from lush this is the honey trap it's super small very compact I have a scrunchie for the car. I need to get a few more for the car. I lose these, like, I can't even tell you. I lose these all the time. I don't know where they go, but they just disappear. And then I have these organic mints from Whole Foods as well. And these are just, like, super clean ingredients. That's why I really like them. 
I have these Manny gloves. These are for when you go to the salon and if you do fake nails or shellac um, and you put your hands under the UV light, they're just to protect your hands from the light. These are also good for while you're driving. If it's sunny outside to protect your hands from the sun, prevents aging on your hands and they are really embarrassing to wear while you're driving, but they do protect your hands. I've also got this natural hand sanitizer that I keep in the middle compartment. This is the Dr. Bronner's and it's the lavender. I feel like everybody's just getting so conditioned to use a sanitizer all the time. I understand that COVID is happening and we have to protect ourselves, but you're not going to be able to protect yourself from COVID or any other diseases if you're killing your good bacteria and hurting your gut microbiome in your body. And also, bring your own sanitizer do not use the sanitizer from the stores they're so disgusting they're so bad for you even this isn't that good for you i also have this sunscreen that i keep in my beauty bag i forgot to show you it says spf 30 it's the pacifica brand this is really good to have in the car these are from the states my friend got me a few of them before COVID happened, I need to figure out a way to get more or find a new sunscreen. Also in the middle compartment, I have my mask and it's in this like silicone mask holder. This is okay. It still stays open on the side. So it's kind of defeating the purpose of keeping the mask clean like and not harboring more bacteria. So I think I'm going to find like maybe a good silk case for now i'm just using this until i find something it opens and closes either like look at this it's like the weirdest little case i it's yeah this is not i don't like this very much so i'm not gonna link it for you <laughs> i don't really understand why there's so many people driving in the car by themselves and they're wearing a mask. It's not necessary to wear it while you're driving. I'm definitely judging the people that do that. I have this coin purse that I keep in the middle compartment as well. I got it off Amazon. I like the purple part, but I do not like this top part at all. It bothers me and I'm only using this until I find a cuter coin purse. I want like a cute silicone one. I was looking at some this morning and I found some cute ones. So if I end up getting those and I like them, I will show you in another vlog. I have this lint brush. I was just using it, but I'm not going to keep this in the middle compartment. I'm actually going to keep this in the trunk. I want to keep the space like just clutter free. I love the way that I've organized it and I'm going to keep it this way. But I was just using this. I have dog hair all over me because of these dogs. One more thing that I'm going to be keeping in the middle compartment, and I think that every car should do this, is this... Sorry, my camera almost drop this on you. Is this little hammer. God forbid, if there's ever a car accident, you can, like, and you're stuck in the car, you can bang this on the window and it will shatter the glass. And then on this end of it, it has, like, a seatbelt cutter if you get stuck in the car. So this came in a roadside emergency kit, which I have in the trunk, but this specific piece I want to keep in the middle compartment because if, God forbid, something happens, how the hell am I going to get to the trunk and get it to save myself or my family? So yeah, keep this in the middle compartment. The glove boxes in both cars always stay super clean. We literally only have the license registration and like the car manual in there. So that's not an issue. Okay, so I got this like organizer from Amazon. Perfect to keep everything organized neatly. Everything has its own space. We have emergency snacks. Also, if you are someone that has diabetes or anything like that, it's I think it's a really good idea to keep snacks in the car um, in case your blood sugar goes low. My favorite thing about this is that I can keep my produce bags in here because I always forget them. This is going to just make sure that I always have them on hand. I got these from Amazon. They're super plain, but that's what I like about it. It's just like a basic grocery bag. I got three of them. These are very, very spacious. And inside one of these, I've got the produce bags. 
This is the roadside emergency kit. I got Kaboo wipes. I love these wipes. This brand in general I love. I've been buying the Kaboo paper towels and toilet paper and these wipes for years because there's no bleach in them. I have an extra deodorant. This is Fat in the Moon. This is my favorite deodorant. Hairbrush. Bamboo. These are the glass straws that I got that I'm using. Pens, just in case. And an umbrella that's really good to have in here. On this side, I've got a microfiber towel, some like wipes for shoes, an extra pair of headphones in case I forget my beats. Like that's happened to me a bunch of times going to the gym. And when I forget my headphones, I will literally just go back home and not work out because I need my music while I'm there. This is like, a little silicone kit with um, tweezers, like little scissors. And then this one, there's doggy bags. And then also in this extra compartment, I have extra masks and extra mask cases. So the other day when I was picking up the dogs from the groomers, I had Wolfie here and my arms and as we were leaving he peed all over me all over my jacket all over my new jeans that i talked about in the previous vlog i think he was just super excited to see his mommy little r kelly speaking of creeps i was actually followed while i was driving a few days ago i was on my way to like a makeup photo shoot in surrey and on my way there took a left turn and i looked to my left and on the opposite side of the street, this car was facing in the opposite direction, just parked there. And I just like look and I can see it's like this guy who had like a huge beard and like a hat on. And he like looked at me. And then as I'm going, I look in my rear view mirror and I see him turn around, which is normal. A few minutes later, I see that he's like in the lane next to me. He keeps looking back, looking back. I'm behind him like a few cars behind him and he starts slowing down he's almost stopped and he's forming traffic behind him and i'm like okay this is getting really creepy what does this guy think he's gonna do because if he this was going on for like maybe like seven minutes i just waited till there was a light and i just ripped it into the furthest left lane and i just went on I want to talk about this because things like this happen all the time. I don't know what this person's intention was. I have two stepdaughters. I teach them kickboxing. I teach them how to defend themselves. There was also a lot of human trafficking going around everywhere. It's just so important to be really careful.